Until Dawn is a horror game that you will only want to play if you don't want to play a game. Where the lines between different entertainment mediums go blurred by the day, this game will do its best to fit that description. Ultimately culminating into a movie that allows you to press buttons and twiddle the control stick every once in a while. You've played L.A. Noir because of its unique interrogation gameplay. You've played Heavy Rain because of the great story. And you've played Beyond Two Souls because it had Ellen Page in it, even though the story was totally bad. And soon, you will play Until Dawn because you bought a PS4 instead of an Xbox One. Strengthening your position in the console wars in YouTube comment sections, you will be able to play a cast of stereotypical horror movie characters. The black guy for racial diversity. The Asian, also for racial diversity. The extras, and the blonde girl who's only there to be hot and stand around doing nothing but act stupid. Can I have my clothes back now or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Seriously, how can you not notice that something's definitely wrong? You will be able to watch them do all stupid things horror movie characters will likely do while being hunted by an unknown killer out for their blood. They will argue while one of them is on the brink of death and run away from a masked person that's probably out to kill her while still holding her towel up even though it's slowing her down. Besides the game's control gimmicks and questionable camera angles, you will get to experience the game's unique mechanic, the butterfly effect, where all your actions, big or small, have an effect to how the game ultimately plays out through the end. And at the point where you commit an action with a consequence you didn't like, realize that reloading the game is pointless since every action is a checkpoint, forcing you to finish the game with unwanted regret and replaying it over and over in order to see every single scenario, even though you could have easily looked it up, consequently justifying your purchase for a game slash movie that barely has any game in it. So if you're still playing Arkham Knight, collecting all the Riddler trophies just to unlock the full ending, well it sucks to be you because you could have totally watched it on YouTube. Seriously people? It's a thing. The verdict for this game is a 6 out of 10. That much hours until dawn. Oh wait! No! If you like that, check out our other videos. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And thanks for watching.